Welcome to Electron Line. A very well-known application of Bayes' rule or Bayes' theorem is in the field of medicine, especially when tests are done, and sometimes the tests do catch what they're looking for, and sometimes they miss what they're looking for. And so here's a good example where this can be applied. For example, let's say that we're testing 10,000 patients, and they're tested for cancer because they noticed that they had a tumor. And it's known for this particular kind of tumor that about 1% of those tumors are malignant. In other words, they contain cancer. And so what we want to do is we want to find the probability that the patient does have cancer if they test positive. So positive for testing for a tumor, and therefore how many of those will actually have cancer. So the probability of A is the probability of having cancer. The probability of event B is equal to the probability that they test positive. So let's take a look at this table right here. Notice that there's a total of 10,000 patients. Of those 10,000 patients, 100 of them will have cancer, which is 1%, because those 10,000 patients had a tumor. 9,900 9, of them will not have cancer. They do have a tumor, but it will be a benign tumor. So, of those 100, 85 that do have cancer will be testing positive, and 15 of them will be testing negative, which means that they have cancer, but the test will miss it. Of the ones that, of all the patients, you can see that a total of 1,570 will test positive for the test, and 8,430 will test negative for the test. So based upon that, we're trying to find the probability that the patient will have cancer if they test positive. All right, here's the equation. The probability of A, given that B will occur, is equal to the probability of B, given that A will occur, times the probability of A, divided by the probability of B. And remember, the denominator is all the sum of all the possible ways in which you can get probability of B. Probability of B is testing positive. So we want all the potential, or all the probabilities, for testing positive. Plugging in numbers, let's see what we get. The probability of testing positive given we have cancer or the patient has cancer. So given the patient has cancer, it's 85 out of a total of 100. So you test positive, 85 uh, given that the patient has cancer. So the patient has cancer, that's a given. 85 of them will be, will be positive. So that's 85 out of 100 that have cancer will test positive. That's essentially what we're saying. We know they have cancer, there's 100 of them, 85 of them will test positive. We multiply that times the probability of having cancer, which is only 1%, which is equal to 100 out of 10,000, essentially. So that's 1% of all the patients have cancer. That's the probability of having cancer, divided by the probability of testing positive given that we have cancer times the probability of having cancer, that's the same thing repeated again, so that would be 85 over 100 times 100 divided by 10,000. So we repeat the same thing again in the denominator, but now we add to that the other way in which the person can test positive. But the probability of testing positive knowing we don't have cancer. So here we don't have cancer, and there's 1,485 that will test positive. So that's 1,485 out of a total of 9,900 that have, uh, that don't have cancer. So out of a total of 9,900 don't have cancer, oh, that's our little puppy there, uh, 1,485 will test positive, and we multiply it times the probability of not having cancer, that would be 9,900 out of 10,000. So there's a 99% chance you don't have cancer out of the general population, and of those, 485 out of 9,900 will test positive for the test. All right, that will give us the probability of A given B, with other words, the probability that the person will have cancer given that the test was positive. So that's what we're looking for. So let's calculate this out and see what we get. First of all, the 100s cancel out. Here the 100 cancel out. Here the 9900s cancel out. And so I think we need a calculator. First, calculating the denominator. So we have 85 divided by 10,000 
plus 1485 divided by 10,000 equals. We bring that to the numerator. So basically, I have in the denominator 0 0.157, and in the numerator, I have 0 0.0085, I believe, because let's see, uh, divide that by 85. Yeah, I think so. Okay, well, let's multiply that times. Um, let's first give it the numerator, and now multiply that times 85 and divide by 10,000 equals, and we get 0 0.054, which is equal to 5.4%. And that's the number we're looking for, which means that if the patient tests positive because there's 10,000 patients walking in. They all have a tumor. If they test positive, what's the probability that they actually have cancer? And it turns out 5.4%, roughly 1 in 20 patients that test positive will indeed have cancer. So just because you test positive doesn't mean you have cancer. There's about a 5.4% probability that you do. In other words, Instead of suspecting that all 10,000 patients have cancer because 10,000 patients had a tumor, we can narrow it down using the base, the base rule, the base theorem, that shows that of those, we can narrow it down to saying if they test positive, 5.4% of those that test positive will indeed have cancer. And that is how it's done.